Hey everyone, welcome back to more of a big hunk of Hyrule. So we're gonna actually go through level 6 for real this time. Not really looking forward to this, but what can you do? Okay, so... Oh, we already have the ladder, so that kind of helps us out a little bit. So I guess we can just start with the right. Like, rivers are like your best friends against the uh, whiz robes. Because they can't do anything to you as they warp through the... They have to warp through the water. So that's better than blocks, because blocks still kind of impede your mobility. But the water, you can use, you know, ladder points as safe zones for yourself. I guess maybe the other quest, uh, Aloha from Hyrule, it has more of that. You got more of these rooms with, like, rivers, so it, even when you have bunches of blue whiz robes, it's not that bad. Okay, this room. Now, you were given a hint about this. Uh, use your whistle when you see uh, the up arrow. Well, it's kind of a subtle hint, but you kind of will need this hint. Because that makes some stairs appear. And that gets you uh, one of the keys in this place. I think there's only like two or three keys or something like that. There aren't that many keys in this level. Uh, but you need the step ladder to get whatever in here anyway. Uh, actually, you can't really do much in this level anyway, without the step ladder to begin with. Yeah, we don't need those bombs. At least we're just got a fresh supply of bombs anyway. Now, there is more to that arrow than just the arrow. So, this is a clue for the riddle for this level. So you start at the bottom left and then you know work clockwise around. So that room in the lower right corner is the fourth um, part of this. So you can you should be able to guess as a maze to this level. So you might want to jot down the those directions because you're going to need to know that later on. Now the rivers, again, they kind of play to your advantage to an extent because of a uh, hiding spots. Gives you places to do some sniping. You imagine doing this with just a white sword? <clears throat> do you imagine how painful this would be? Anything you can do to give yourself any sort of advantage is a welcome addition. And this room, okay, I uh, just basically bomb refills. I need to get the map in this room, I recall. So 
So it was kind of a simple map to an extent. And I think there was a hint outside you had to pay money for. Um, I think if you choose like the minus, I think, 30 rupee option, um, gives you a hint about that square in the center. That seemingly is, why is it blank? It's very odd that it's a blank square there. Now this W actually does mean something. Uh, we'll get back to that in just a little bit. A lot easier if you get the step ladder because it actually gives you safe points to attack the dark nuts on. And we got the oval patch right? Okay, too big a deal. Something like the traffic not really helping much. Seriously, getting the magic sword before finishing this level is, uh, that's going to be to your benefit. And you don't have to defeat the enemies in this room, but just take a note of the arrow. There's nothing to be flute in that room because remember the hint only mentions use your whistle on the up arrow. Just gotta take a note of that direction of that arrow. So if you use your whistle in this room. Uh, it takes you to uh one of these uh, different places, and right next to that blink room. Oh, compass is here. Okay, might as well pick that up. So you can actually head on down. Since I got sword beams, I might as well just snipe as much as I can. And there's your magic boomerang. And again, the, that pay... I think about 30 rupees for this hint. Uh, I believe it even tells you the boomerang is in this room. Not that it's that useful, but you, you might as well pick it up. Again, there's no fire boomerang in this quest, which would be very helpful. Can you imagine you being able to get that type of item? You know, give you some way to counter. Yeah, we're just making our way back to the start. There's uh, nothing else to really do at this point. You know, we got some directions, and that's kind of all you really get for this.
I mean, I know they're normally erratic, but not this erratic. Not that I remember. They do a ton of hit and run on you in this quest. I hope that the ladder kind of helps a little bit. Yeah, seriously, you know, Magic Sword is, uh, <laughs> you see how much easier it's making things. Okay, I don't think we went left yet, so it doesn't hurt to take a look in this direction. Most of these, you're gonna need a step ladder just to do anything. And as you see, these uh, rivers you're gonna have to cross. And you, you don't even need to go into these rooms. Um, well, if you know the directions already, but you know, assuming you don't, then yeah, you gotta just jot notes down. You just need to know which way the blocks are, or at least the arrows pointing. Alright, so we're gonna go back to where the uh, step ladder was. through the minus 50 rupee thing and uh, didn't bother going to this room yet because you actually need the ladder anyway. Not a whole lot in this room at least. That's why you need the step ladder. And again, honestly, most of this you need the ladder just to access. I think maybe even all the directions in general. All the look, arrows. Well, at least most of them, if not all of them. This room is, uh, okay, just more dark nuts, so it's, uh, basically another refill room for you. Up here, you just get another direction, so just make another mental note of that. So at this point, you should have all four uh, directions to go in. And here's where you use your two keys up. should suspect that you're not going to be wasting two keys for nothing, right? And there are no blocks in this room to push. And 
mean, you almost would figure that there's something there. Okay, this room, there's nothing in this room, you actually just bomb up. This is where you're gonna need to know your maze path. It looks like right at the beginning of the level. Um, but you know, if you look at the map, it, you know, you're obviously gonna have to end going up, so. So again, make sure you jot it down notes as to uh, which way you need to go. go right left right up to get to the end and it's just uh, another dig dogger with no statue support or anything so at least you get some sort of break on this Ooh, a lot of money there they did the old drop fives It's last level six in a nutshell, and believe me, it gets worse later on. Now, seven is so so. Uh, level eight is gonna make you cringe. Especially because there is a bit of a trollage in that level. Uh, I, won't, I won't quite spoil that yet, but there is some bit of trollage. Major trollage for you. Alright, so we're gonna head back to the upper left corner of the map. I mean, and I've already bombed and explored everything, so save a little bit of time. So, yeah, that this blank section, that's for later on. Pretty much leave just a one or two bats alive or something, so that they don't all respawn. Not that it's a big threat. All right, so this is where level seven is, and. You see that there are no doors? Um, I don't know how many walkthrough walls are in this place, but uh, I probably mentioned before, uh, you are going to want to bring a lot of bombs with you because you are going to need them. I mean, you do get a lot of bomb drops in this place, but best to bring a good supply with you. And that's why you have to shop outside and sell them for 10 rupees because uh, easy to buy them back in case you need them. Okay, so uh, next up we will start tackling level 7 and uh, go through this bit of a maze. Alright, see you guys later.